Hello everyone, Bertina Amy here, and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing a Dollar Tree DIY last minute Father's Day Lego gift. So on my most recent shopping trip to the Dollar Tree, I went to the toy section and I found all these different colors of Lego blocks. So I decided to pick up a couple of the largest size building blocks of the shade of blue. Then, at least seemingly new to my Dollar Tree, I saw these Transformers and I grabbed Bumblebee and Optimus Prime. And I also grabbed one of their building blocks containers to hold all the pieces. So understandably so, Dollar Tree calls their Lego blocks building blocks. I decided to test out their new pair of scissors from the Jot brand to see if they cut well and I just used them to cut the tape off of these containers with no issues. So I start with the largest size of the building blocks and I tried to build sort of a large wall with them and I realized that I couldn't build a very large wall because there are 72 pieces in there but there are so many different shapes and sizes and only so many per shape and size. So thankfully I picked up a second set and I'm going to make a wall that's approximately just under four inches by six inches. So this basically meant that I could only do three columns of the largest size and I definitely needed both containers. Then once I used all the pieces of the largest size, I realized I still needed more. And rather than running back to the Dollar Tree to buy more, I decided to use the narrowest version of the largest size, which I'm basically going to describe as the four prong, one row type shape. And for that, I definitely needed to use all the pieces from both containers for that shape as well. Let me know in the comments below if at this point you have any idea what I'm trying to make. So then I decided to take my container and I decided to separate out all the pieces from both packages to make it easier to pull out the pieces I actually need. Once I had all three columns at the length that I needed, I realized that it actually mattered which column is in which area because for whatever reason, in some cases, one specific column might actually make the other column next to it look like there's a gap between the two. So while I let that sit and think about that for a minute, I go ahead and pull out a large sticker paper and in the standard size so that I can go ahead and select an image and print the image twice onto the sticker paper and then go ahead and cut them out. So I was trying to determine the best way that I would be able to place the image on top of this wall that I built. However, using the lid was not the way to go. The other issue I kept coming across with these Dollar Tree versions of Legos is simply that they did not want to stay connected. They easily kept popping off. At first I thought it was because I hadn't had the columns connected, so I grabbed pieces, the smaller pieces within my container, to try to fix that by combining the columns together. So I decided to keep messing with that off camera. And I go ahead and apply one of the sticker images onto the wall and the other one to the inside of the lid of the container. Then I turn my attention to those transformers I picked up and go ahead and take them out of their packages. Then I take four two-prong shaped building blocks and I take Dollar Tree super glue and I super glue them to the feet of the transformers. Since you don't want to overdo the super glue, I'm only putting a single drop just on the prongs. Then I set them just under the feet and let that dry. So my husband is a Transformers fan, so I'm making this for his birthday and Father's Day since they're only two days apart, and I hope he loves it. So anyways, once they're dry, I go ahead and test them out on the lid of the container. I did have to maneuver Bumblebee's feet just a slight bit because they're a little bit flexible and they're also not totally straight. Optimus Prime was a little bit more difficult, so I decided to make it seem as though he is about to jump off. But for $1.25 to make your DIY Lego pieces with Dollar Tree toys, such as Transformers, I think this is worth the DIY and a steal of a deal. And as an added bonus, those Transformer toys come with their own stickers. So I go ahead and put my DIY Legos into the container and cover the pieces with just a bunch of the spare parts. And inspired by those pieces, and because my pieces kept popping apart for the DIY, I guess, Lego puzzle, I decided to go ahead and just super glue many of the pieces together. This project was actually inspired by seeing an advertisement on Facebook about getting something like this made as a gift. Obviously, it would have been more professionally done, and each individual piece would have had to been put together. And I was intending to do the exact same thing in this process. However, with the simple fact that these pieces kept popping apart, I don't recommend this project unless you don't mind doing exactly what I'm doing, or you don't mind them popping off on you all the time. 
But to combat the possibility of this becoming a very frustrating project that should be very fun as a gift, I decide to just super glue most of the pieces together and still making it a puzzle by basically only having to have four large Lego pieces that you have to put together. However, once the super glue dries and while those pieces are intact, I go ahead and fold the areas in which there's no super glue so that I can cut down the sticker. Once all four pieces are cut apart, I was bothered by the remaining glue residue that you could still see on the back side of these Lego pieces. So then I go ahead and use scrap stickers to cover them up. Ideally though, you won't have to worry about that, but you would have to cut away every single individual piece. And also ideally you would have spare parts from actual Legos. But frankly, this being a last minute project, I really didn't have time to be able to purchase the real deal anyways. And I go ahead and put this all into the container and wait to see my husband's reaction. In the end, my husband ended up loving this gift and it was worth the DIY project. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.